Hi, it's Trisha Lee. I'm just out here with my two horses and I just wanted to make this video for you to share uh, what I'm talking about with uh, rescuing horses. Um, so I just want to show you um, my horse Sunshine, her feet, her big beautiful feet. And um, can't even see them because they're nice and trim. <laughs> Can I have the shout out? They're nice and trim and basically her fur is hanging over covering up those pretty hooves right sunshine and um here is this horse that i just decided to buy i'm calling her moonbeam she got sunshine there her pretty furry feet and moonbeam is here now if i had not bought this horse sunshine um just about two well in january it'll be two years this is what her feet would look like if she could, if she would hold still, that would help a lot. <laughs> but I apologize, let's go back from her. She's still pretty quiet. But we'll zoom in there. And there's a huge difference. You can see her cracked up hooves sticking out from under the fur. My horse, well, they're both my horses now. But the other one, you'll notice you just see the pretty fur. There's not um, all this bucky overgrowth happening. Yeah, her feet are just yucky. So um, we're going to, we've been working with her to uh, try and get her trimmed up so that her feet will be more natural and look more like sunshines, which um, is super important. And if I were to take you around and show you a lot of these other um, mother horses and the studs and some of the geldings out here, you would see that most of their feet look <sighs> like moonbeam hair. And so <laughs> my mission is to, um, to uh, give horses natural hooves. Um, Wild horses, they live longer than domestic horses, and I think a huge part of that is the hooves and the way the hooves are cared for. Uh, around here, uh, most of these big Clydesdales are left barefoot, which is good, but they're not properly maintained. They're only twim trimmed twice a year, and they should be on a minimum six-week trim schedule, so once every six months results in these big, overgrown, cracked-up hooves uh, like Moonbeam has. So... Um, but even worse is some of the other horses here, the uh, more regular riding horses, uh, the warm bloods and the quarter horses and stuff, which are subjected to horseshoes because um, uh, definitely overgrowth and uh, lack of maintenance is bad for the horses, but horseshoes are terrible. They actually damage the hoof. And um, they're widely used, uh, especially um, in rodeos and for race horses. And um, the natural hoof care movement is gaining some ground. And there's starting to be a lot more people that are looking at um, wild horses as a model for um, maintaining domestic horses. And so things are changing, but it's been pretty slow. And uh, I'm just here to uh, play my role in progressing the idea of natural horses and natural hoof care uh, based on the wild horse models uh, using information that I've obtained from uh, both Jamie Jackson, Pete uh, Ra Rami, Ramey, and uh, I'll put links below the video so that you can find uh, the res resources that I have accessed and um, bring this information to uh, horse owners everywhere to uh, hopefully uh, create an impact that uh, makes life better for these animals. Uh, it's my personal opinion that um, horseshoes are actually the worst case of animal abuse in human history. And I don't know where PETA is on this, but uh, they should be um, doing a lot more to uh, to bring awareness to this. I know they focus a lot on uh, all these poor dogs and poor this and poor that and they do complain a lot about the rodeo but rodeo rodeo events are not bad for horses uh actually good for horses to uh do a rodeo event because it um uh keeps their minds sharp uh keeps them um busy doing useful work and um it's good for their mental health to have activity like that but uh the horseshoes they're bad <laughs> 
Um, I think that anyone with common sense would understand that no man or woman with a metal bar is going to do better for this animal than what nature intended. So um, take a look at uh, the links below and um, implement some natural horse care with uh, your animals if you have them. And uh, if you know someone that has them, expose them to the information and it will improve uh, both uh, the person and the horse's life. So thanks for watching and make it a great day. If I don't see you in the future, I'll see you in the pasture.